Hello guys, welcome back. During the downtime, I went around to collect all of the uh, collectibles that I could in this this map over here. Uh, I cannot go through here because they are locked. I think I have to get some sort of upgrade before I can go. But anyway, we're back here now at the camp where we left off and uh, there was something explode exploded over there so I suppose we're gonna go and investigate oh actually I forgot we have uh, one extra upgrade skill skill points as well so actually let's see if we can go back up to upgrade it I think we can go back up this way just jump and yes jump over here I'm not sure which um, skill I want to put in yet probably something to do with the uh, my bow so I can do more damage perhaps let's see if I can do anything with that so yeah, one skill points available here, and uh, I think I'll go into Hunter. Increase steady aim time for bow shot shots. Animal glow. Hmm. Increase the amount of ammunition looted from enemy corpses. I think uh, this one is the most useful at the moment. This one is not bad though. But I'll go with this first. Just so I can always have uh, enough ammunition without having to craft it. Because I want to save my uh, resources to upgrade and stuff. Crafting arrows. Hold the left mouse button to craft. It uses woods and feathers. Okay. There's a gap here. What's this? The, the map is not showing anything. Map updated. Points of interest. Reviewed. Challenge into darkness explore caves interesting uh, while we're here let's dig a bit get some minerals and mushrooms I actually have full mushrooms huh let's go through this door And how does Lara keep getting these glow sticks? Like, they surely would have ran out by now. Because every time she Nessia. went out of the cave, enough. I always see her just dropping the glow stick uh, on the floor. Doesn't really save it, so... How do they keep appearing? think this way there is some mineral over here and some documents on the floor there I see a prophet must have his followers Kokos of Nicaea was one of the prophets first branded a heretic in his home city Kokos joined the pilgrimage north. His knowledge of the stars helped guide the way. It is said that Kokos and the Prophet would sit for hours under the stars debating the nature of the universe and man's fraught place within it. For the Prophet, he built an orrery of planets and stars so that even during the dark of winter, he might gaze upon the night sky. So very deep. Stars gazing.
Whoa, lots of stuff here. And a dead person. And was that it? There's not really anything here. But we haven't explored this way, so let's have a look. I think I'm a little bit lost, though. Okay, so this is the way we went, so we need to go this way and into here. Ah, there it is. One of the uh, tomb, I guess. So we should get some sorts of uh, skills upgrade here. Ancient bow part. Okay, I'll take that. So I need three more parts to craft the the ancient uh, bow. It probably will be stronger than this makeshift bow that I'm using. But I want the. Um, the modern bow though, the uh, compound bow or competition bow that uh, Lara had in the previous game. I remember using that like just the bow, no guns at all. It was just that good and it looks cool as well. I like the way how uh, Lara put the bow over her body. I think it put quite a bit of stress on the string though, but it looks cool, so yeah. That's that. Nothing I can do for him now. All units just got word. Constantine is on his way down. There's the, the guy prison. there. Got him. Right through the face. Ouch. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed Let's to distract take one of them alive. by throwing the, the motto over people? there. Hang on. I'll go look. Understood. Okay, while this guy go, let's shoot this I'm one. Got them. I wanted to do the uh, double shot. Uh the, you know, shoot two times thingy, but um I didn't move my mouse quick enough. It's kind of tough though to do that because the uh, the time between you are able to take the second shot is not that long. So like you have to be really fast to shoot two targets and still headshot them each. You know what I mean? Among the enemy, investigate the helicopter. There's more the area. of them arriving. Okay. <gasps> I want those crates as far away from the fire as possible. Okay, lots Double of people. Time. Let's There's kill this there, one first. There are still three more. We get to with the prison. We're on our own out here. That was Constantine's chopper. What the hell is he doing down here? We can kill this one. Not for me to say. I'm nice. Check it out. I'll be right back. Heads up! Incoming! Oh shit, did he see us? There, open up. Got him. Just you and me. Okay, so only that guy left up there. Let's see if I can get him. Nice. Got all of them. That was fairly easy. Uh, let's loot them actually for my stuff. I can drop the uh, the objects now, the bottle. And let's see if there's anything I can pick up around first before I continue on. Don't think so though. Anything up here? Nope. Can uh I don't think I need any more feathers. So I'm not gonna waste one arrow shooting that uh, nest up. I mean down. And there is something here. Nice. 
Okay, let's go further. Some sort of computer here. Oh shit. Funny how he had a gun, but he didn't choose to shoot me at all. He was just charging me an and try to attack me at close range. What? By the way, I just heard something. Heard someone just now. Oh, there he is. See him? Oh shit. Got him. I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it, but I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best-case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. Hmm. So, some of the men thought that they were searching for a nuke. Mm, an old yeah. Soviet plaque. Lenin lived. Lenin lives. Lenin I don't think we're gonna forever. find any nuke though. Only the source of divine. Whatever that is. And let's open this for some loot. Semi auto pistol part. Nice. Only two more. And I have myself a pistol. Let me check the map real fast to see if I uh, didn't pick up anything. I hate how this map is dark. Okay, challenges into darkness. Five caves explored. Uh, one out of five. I don't think there's any more cave where I just went though. So. <laughs> Calamping up this broken tower. Huh? <coughs> Only to rope down into this area. Interesting. Isn't there like a stairs or something that we can walk? Okay, I think we have to burn this. Yep. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Took like three seconds for those uh, wooden bars and cloths to burn off. Oh, nice, the pistol. There's something here. Let's pick it up first. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. So it seems like the people of the valley has been fighting uh, people for, <coughs> for years now. 